I think it's a backpack or something. It's very hard. Then you get, you go in your head and maybe you show some more people. I got, I got one of those pipes. Did you put like, is it a projector? But I just need to call it the I think this is like, it's all rusty. I don't know what it is. It has this like red button. No, you don't have to all the way pick it up. I just wanted you to lift <laughs> it a little bit. Okay. It's a little harder to um, figure out what to do with it. You put the paper in there, and then you type something, and then the paper goes back up, and then you like have a paper that writes on things. Computers, um, paper, pen, pencil. Computers. Yeah, you could put your story online, or you could just share it yourself. And sometimes, if you want after school, we can share. Then I will take a piece of paper. I'll lay down on the table, and I'll go get my crown and pencils and start writing what I think of with my mind. I mean, I just like to um, show my emotion through my writing, and it helps. Sometimes I want to get a point through, I just write it down on paper. Miss Kiker, this is something that she helps me with my story. Um, write it two ways. Flip your paper over and write it. Think about it and then circle the one that you can put it there. You're not getting rid of your like all your ideas, you're just like, you don't like that word, how you use it. And so that's something I might want to teach to my kids. Our teacher shows us, or tells us the rule, show, not tell. You have to describe it instead of tell what it is. Mainly what inspires me to write is things around me or things that have happened to me. So it all depends on um, the authors you kind of like to read and then you can just read their books to understand the way how they write and then the type of words they use and you can kind of get inspired by that and you can not picturize but kind of use the same type of um, writing style as them. Well mostly my mom, she wrote it at home about her dogs and family and stuff. She's been in the army for a long time and she's coming back on October the first. I think it's a good thing to have memories because if you want to have a woman grow up, you can write about it. You can write information or you can write fiction, but it all comes down to like how, how you like to write and the things you like to write about and whatever makes you happy. Why do you make it if you can't show why? But I want to write funny stories to make people laugh. I mostly share them with my family so they can know about my childhood. Like people can learn from the lessons you put in your story. When I wrote my story about my puppy, I probably want them to go puppy and then write their own story. My message is like the kind I like think in my mind and then I write it down on a piece of paper and then I'll write it again in my book. I put um, some of my um, like less, a lesson at the end it tells um, that you should um, always and believe in your family's love. Just try your best. Because if you do, you can accomplish anything. You just gotta put some effort and work into it, and then you can succeed.